You right, guys? It's Capcom Tom here, and welcome to another episode of FIFA Through the Years. Today, we're doing another most improved special. So, I did one a little while ago, and you guys seem to really, really enjoy that one. So, today, I'm going to do another. I went out and found tons more players that have gone all the way from bronzes to golds, and it, this one actually features a player that's gone up the most rating points that I've ever seen. So, very, very cool one to look at. Now, if you want to go and buy some Ultimate Team Coins, go and check out futcoinemporium.com. Their link will be down in the description. Got a sale on at the moment, so go check them out. Get yourself some cheap coins. And if you want another video like this tomorrow, hit a 1,000 likes, and I, of course, will upload another one. Now, I'm thinking of doing Bundesliga tomorrow because, yep, I haven't actually looked at the Bundesliga, so it'll be a really what cool one to look at. And I'm hoping you guys will all enjoy it. Also, I want to do the downgraded video, but it's very difficult to find anyone that's taken a massive drop. So if you've been on the Footwiz Generations website, and uh, that link is down in the description, and you've seen someone that's dropped a ridiculous amount of stats, then give me a shout, put a comment on this video, tweet me on Twitter, I'll make a note of everything that I see, and I will of course then make a video around those players. So give me some help, and we can keep this amazing series going. So, let's jump in, our first player, and it is the big one, the biggest stat butt jump I've ever seen, it is Martin Kelly from Liverpool. Look at his FIFA 10 card. He has gone from a 49 rated centre back all the way up to a gold rated 76 player. Now that means that he's gone up 27 rating points. That's the highest of any player I've done in this series. Some of you may be like, hey, what about Pogba? He went from a bronze to a gold, but he actually went from 55 rating to a 77 rating. So that again is only 22 stat points. So 27 stat points. If someone can find a better one than that, I will be very, very surprised. And you can see that he has slowly got better over the years. He was pretty terrible in FIFA 10 to be fair. 57 pace, 48 defending, 28 dribbling, 23 shooting. That is pretty bad. FIFA 11 came around, he became a silver right back and he's got a little bit better ever since. I mean, he actually had an inform on FIFA 11, but we'll look at that in a second. Ever since he has been gold 76 rated, his inform, which we will have a look at now, is actually his highest rated card ever. So if we took his bronze card all the way up to his inform card, we would be talking about a jump of 30 stat points. And that's in one season because he got that uh, card on FIFA 11. So that is absolutely crazy. So our next player is going to be Courtois. I have no intention of trying to pronounce his first name. Really don't even know where to start with it. But on FIFA 10, he was at Racing Genk. You can see that 58 rated bronze goalkeeper. He was still bronze on FIFA 11 as well. Still at Racing uh, Genk at that time. I think that what happened was, was Chelsea then went away and bought Courtois. They still own him now and he's actually been on loan at Atletico Madrid ever since so he has been on loan since FIFA 11 so he has got another season there so he's going into his third season on loan at Atletico Madrid I'm sure he's just getting the experience he needs to then come back to Chelsea and do damage for them once the reign of Czech has probably finished but yeah you can see that he's gone up to a 79 rated goalkeeper and if we have a look at his informs you can see he actually got an upgrade on FIFA 12 he went to a 76 rated goalkeeper overall he also had a team of the season 83 rating overall this year he's had an inform a man of the match and a team of the season so he is doing fantastic out at Atletico Madrid and you can only imagine how good he will be when he comes back to Chelsea I imagine that Chelsea will probably want him back at the end of this season so next up we have Maxime Gonalons and he has gone from a 55 rated bronze centre mid all the way to his current card, which is a 77 rated centre defensive mid. He was actually 78 rated uh, in the two games between FIFA 10 and FIFA 13. So FIFA 11, FIFA 12, he was a 78 rated CDM. Still a very, very good player. They're still trying to balance him out. I think that because he's young, you know, they're still trying to work out exactly what stats he should have. You can see that he went up pace, down pace, up pace again. So they're probably just trying to work that out in their own mind. He's actually been at Leon for years he was in the uh, youth team for well he was in the youth team since 99 he was actually at Villefranche before that for two years so 97 to 99 he was at Villefranche that would have made him I don't know what about 10 then at, he was at Lyon from 99 all the way to 2009 um, and then he moved into the senior team so he's been in the senior team since 2009 he's had 108 appearances five goals pretty impressive he's also managed to get six caps for his country so he is doing pretty well and if we have a look at his informs he's managed to pull a team of the season this year and that is it but of 82 rated player very very cool one to have 
have a look at and now we will move on to our next player. So here's one of our more interesting players and a friendly face to a lot of you Stoke fans. It is Azmir Begovic. So you can see that initially he was Canadian, bronze and playing for Pompey, 59 rated overall. Then he changes, he plays for Stoke and he is Bosnian. So that's actually a cool change because he's gone from bronze to silver, he's even gone to gold in the subsequent games and he's also changed nationality from Canadian to Bosnian. I think he played in the Canadian under 20 team I believe um, in 2004 to 2007, then in 2009 he started playing for the Bosnian actual uh, national team he has 22 caps there which is very cool while he was at Portsmouth he went on absolutely loads of loan spells he was at a team called La Louvria he went to Macclesfield he went to Bournemouth Yeovil Town and Ipswich so he went all over the place then he was obviously sold on to Stoke who he is now become the first choice keeper for we have a look at his informs he has managed to pull two different well not two different informs but he managed to get an upgrade in January on FIFA 13 so he's a 78 rating overall and he's had a team of the season I think that was for the most consistent so those are some pretty cool cards to look at as well so our next player is Tabernau and he was actually quite a difficult one to find you can see that the Toulouse player has has gone from a 60 rated centre attacking mid all the way up to a 77 rated left mid. Very, very cool one. It's been at Toulouse the whole time uh, through the two FIFAs from FIFA 10 all the way to FIFA 13. Managed to get 138 appearances and 15 goals in that time. And uh, now he's actually moved on to Saint Etienne. So he's transferred clubs. He's going to be starting the new season at St Etienne so it's going to be interesting how he manages to play for them. He has also managed to capture one in form for himself and that was on FIFA 13. You can see there that 79 rated left mid card. Looks pretty cool although the stats are very very much average um, for my liking for a left midfielder. If he was playing in the centre of the pitch I think he'd probably be a very very good player. Our next player is going to be Nicholas Gaitan and you can see that he started at Boca Juniors on FIFA 10 bronze 64 rated centre attacking mid very good stats for a bronze player as well 68 pace 72 dribbling 62 shooting and 69 passing pretty cool card would love to play with it now as well and you can see that when he got transferred to Benfica he actually took a jump of 10 rating points he went from 64 to a 74 rated card and he has very good stats there as well that was still on FIFA 10 then FIFA 11 rolls around he's a 78 rated left mid 80 rated right mid on FIFA 13 or yeah FIFA 12 sorry and then an 83 rated right mid on FIFA 13 so that's pretty cool he's managed to score 14 goals for Benfica in his 74 appearances he's actually been capped for Argentina six times as well and if we look at his informs he's actually pulled quite a few of them he had one on FIFA 11 and two on FIFA 13 I like the look of that FIFA 11 one uh, the 82 rated left mid card and uh, you can see that both of his informs are left mid as well so he's someone that's clearly capable of playing all over the pitch being a center attacking mid left mid right mid whatever it is he is very very capable of playing wherever he is needed to play so there you go guys that is the end of the video I hope you have enjoyed it I put a lot more effort into going and researching my actual um, players this time because I know that I've made a couple of mistakes in the past um, especially on the second goalkeeper special where I didn't actually have I think it was um, Akin Fief second in form and his man of the matches that was because um, obviously the footwiz beta site is still a beta stuff still getting added to it um, I'm checking everything as meticulously as I can now I'm going out and doing a bit of research as well so I hope you're enjoying that, that aspect if you could drop the video a like that would be absolutely amazing um, but other than that subscribe if you're not already and I will see you all next time